Laura Kunzberg, BBC News, Wrexham. Right, let's break away from uh, the election campaign for a moment. We've got some news coming into us um, out of the northwest. Greater Manchester Police uh, have warned people to stay away from uh, Manchester Arena um, as officers respond to what they're describing as an incident amid reports on social media uh, of some kind of explosion. Um, Network Rail are now saying that emergency services are dealing with an incident near Manchester Victoria Station, that's right in the heart of the city. Uh, trains may be delayed or cancelled until the end of the day. This is all we have at the moment, I, although I'm just getting some details now from British Transport Police. Um, they're saying we are aware of an incident at Manchester Arena. We have officers at the scene and will provide further updates as soon as as possible so that just in from Manchester from um, British Transport Police um, but uh, it's Greater Manchester Police who are saying that they're warning people to stay away from the Manchester Arena area as officers respond to an incident amid reports on social media of an explosion any more on that we'll bring it to you uh, when we get it Well now, going back to uh, Theresa May and that apparent U-turn on social care costs. In the press preview at 11.30. Let's just bring you some breaking news we're getting. This is from Greater Manchester Police and they have said they are warning people to stay away from the Manchester arena as officers report to an incident amid reports on social media of an explosion. Uh, another drop this time from the Reuters news agency, that was the uh, press association, uh, saying that police say they have responded to reports of an incident at Manchester Arena in the UK, and that is the police saying that on Twitter. Uh, we have no more details, but we will come back with that as soon as we can. So uh, let's just uh, remind you, Greater Manchester Police have warned people to stay away from Manchester Arena as officers respond to an incident. Back with more on that uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, meanwhile, on Thursday, the Prime Minister unveiled her manifesto. Let's talk to Andy Holy, um, I think he, who's on the line. Uh, Andy, hello to you. Um, I think you were waiting for your, uh, a couple of family members who were actually at the concert? Yeah, that's right. Um... I didn't go to the concert, my wife and daughter did, so I was waiting up at the first set of white doors. And as I was waiting, an explosion went off and it threw me through the first set of doors, about 30 foot to the next set of doors. When I got up and looked round, there was about 30 people scattered everywhere. Some of them looked dead, might have been unconscious, but there was a lot of fatalities. So my first thing was to run in the stadium, try and find my wife and daughter. When I couldn't find them, I went back out and with the police and the fire and ambulance, whoever was there, I looked at some of the bodies trying to find my family. But um, luckily they weren't there. Managed to find them outside the arena and got them back to the hotel with them. But I phoned up because so many reports coming in that it was like a balloon and things not happening as it was. It was definitely an explosion and there's definitely a lot of fatalities. Right. I mean, we're actually looking at the police statement from Greater Manchester Police confirming um, a lot of what people have been saying. Uh, a number of fatalities uh, are, uh, have, um, have occurred as a result of this. Uh, a number of other people have been injured as well, and people are being uh, told to avoid the area. Um, this explosion, a lot of force then, it actually blew you off your feet. Well, I w I've been talking to one of the arena girls in a...